Welcome in to Chase Field in downtown Phoenix. The show brings you game one of a big four-game set. It's the Philadelphia Phillies and the Arizona. First pitch coming your way next. All right, ready to go here. And now Trey Turner. And a pop-up right side, foul territory. Walker flashes the leather on the run and catch. Huge sigh of relief, I'm sure, for that guy out there on the bump to retire a great hitter like that for the first one of the game. Strike two. One ball, two strikes. And now two and two. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three pitch strikeout. Okay. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at bat. And now here is Harper. Line drive. He's got it. And that is out number three. Phillies down. Back here in the desert and towing the slab, Andrew Painter. Chris, his strikeout rate this year among the best all time. He's truly one of the elite strikeout pitchers in the league. I mean, strikeouts per nine off the chart. So the opposing team, they know they have their work cut out for them anytime they're facing this guy or a guy like this that's going to get the swings and misses. Pretty much in a class of his own when it comes to that category. a 3-2. Bounced up the middle. Fires over to Hoskins. Here tonight, an efficient start to the home Not first. Two good. away. No, they didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit. Rolled over on it and beat it into the ground. Here's Guriel. Hitless and four at bats yesterday. That's to third. Tip. Whips it to first. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. So one, two, three, go to Diamondbacks. Scoreless after one. Back here at the ballpark, second inning, set to go. Now it's the veteran outfielder, Kyle Schwarber. Rip to short, snagged on a bounce. Throw to first, Schwarber out of the play. That is it. The Here's Nicholas Castellanos. Castellanos. One down, base is empty. Oh. And now two balls and a strike. Swing Good and a down. line drive, slicing into right field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. Hitless yesterday as they only pushed across one run. Rojas. Gathers and throws to first. And that is the third out. Back here at Chase Field. And now it's Christian Walker. You know, Christian Walker, a guy who had a really successful amateur career, his college ball with the South Carolina Gamecocks, they won the College World Series twice with Walker, and he tied the College World Series record for most career hits with 28. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Pitch was on the outside, didn't go the other way with it, but still a nice job of oh. using the big part of the field to find a hole. No way he hits it that well if he hooks around the baseball there. The next offering misses. And that's ball three. Nobody out. Runner at first. Hauls it in for the out. And he looked a little tentative on that swing. Almost like he didn't get pitch recognition. And tried to slow his back down just to make contact. I'd rather see a guy swing through it. And instead of making weak contact and putting it in play, have another pitch where maybe he can drive out of the ballpark. Next to hit, Dominic Fletcher. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. And a pitch. Fights that one away. Still 1-2. and two. And the right-hander deals. That one is upstairs. It's a good take. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Struck him out swinging. Pulled the string on the changeup. 
And welcome back. New inning getting started. And here is Alec Bohm. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Two strikes. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Now one away. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. This is Bryson Stott. The line of the pitch. I'm Bryson. That one's in there. It's two and two. And there's a ball. And a pitch. There's a high chopper. Ahmed zips it across. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. Appeared as a pinch hitter yesterday. Back in the lineup for this one. Off the plate and a count two and one. Top of the third, no score. The 2-2. Two -two. That one hammered center field. That's back there. Caught just shy of the wall. Phillies go down quiet. As we go to the last of the third. Alec Thomas now. On the ground. To his knee, the throw. Lead off and are gone in the third. Cadillac reflexes on that one. Makes the dive, has to get up. Clean exchange to throw a strike across the diamond. And what a tremendous play. Nick Ahmed here to hit the pitch. Jack Swin went around, and it's one and two. On the ground to the left. Boom. Throws down to first. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. Here's Josh Rojas. Next offering is downstairs. On the ground to third. Fires over to Hoskins. That's the inning. Back here in the desert. Start of the fourth. And digging in for Philadelphia. Trey Turner. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Thomas sizing it up. Calls it in. And there's one away. JT Real Muto steps in. He's 0 for 1. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Chris, do you know what JT stands for in JT Real Muto? Of course, Boog. It's Jacob Tyler. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Walker tracks it down for the out. Oh, nice. Right-hander kicks deals. On the ground, right side. It's through for a hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Big knock there to keep the inning alive and an opportunity to put something in the gap and give the Phillies the lead. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. He's 0 for 1. The pitch. And now 2 and 1. And a swing and a miss. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. That misses. And now it's three and two. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion. So something in the gap should definitely score it. And that's ball four. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Righty delivers. 
Swinging a foul straight back. Here's a one two. And another ball. Harper, the lead runner at second. Schwarber at first, two out of the inning. Pitch. Stays alive. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. Snap throw. Welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Cattell Marte up to the plate. Check nope. swing. He held up. And a count is three and one. Fought off foul. And here it comes. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. Here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Over to Turner for one. And they get him easily at first. It's a double play. And next will be the cleanup hitter. Christian Walker. Swings and misses. And the count, one and two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Through four, still tied. Zip, zip. Back here in the ballpark, we go to the top of the fifth. And now for the Phillies, Reese Hoskins. Ground ball, Walker. He handles it himself. One up, one down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Got him swinging. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Bryson Stock. 2-1 now. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Ahmed gets it to first. And the Phillies are set. Here's a 1-1. And that's in for a strike. Well, these Diamondbacks showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They haven't produced a run yet, but the pitch count for the starter is starting to climb, so they're hoping that starts to pay off soon. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. No play, that's an infield single. He was all over that one. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the swings and misses struck him out. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. At the play, Dominic Fletcher. And that one is lifted in the air. And there's two away. Here's a speed threat, Alec Thomas. So now one and two. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way. And he got him. Strike three, and that'll retire the side. One left for Arizona, and we're still knotted at zero. All set for the top of the six. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Brandon Marsh. Left hand batter waits. This to third. Rojas throws on to first. One up, one down. Well, Boog, we talk about how the ball is coming out of the pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. And a pitch. Not the best swing that time from the first round pick. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. 2-2 Two -two now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there are two down. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. Ball on a strike. Late that time, and it's strike two. Two strike.
Fletcher glides to his left. Brings it in with a nice run and grab. And that is that. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. And welcome back. Here's the shortstop at the play. Nick Ahmed. Next pitch inside. And it's two and one. And a good eye there. And the three one. And there's a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Marsh makes the catch, and there's one away. I always remember watching Johan Santana pitch, and when he was in his prime, you would see a lot of guys out in front, right-handers pulling that change up in the stands, and then fouling the fastball the opposite field up into the stands. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Some high cheese for strike three. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Here's Cattell Marte. Really thriving with the bat this season here at home. And that's a strike. Bounce to the left side. And foul ball. <laughs> Next offering upstairs. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. And it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. Marte, the runner at first with two gone. Hard hit, right side. Hoskins takes it to the bag. Third out, and that ends the frame. One left. We go to the top of the seventh. Now it's the right fielder, Bryce Harper. Next one misses three and one. High Get fly ball Bryce. down the left field line. That skips over the fence, so it's an automatic double. The automatic double kind of feels like enjoying cruise control in your car, boo. You don't need to keep the pedal down as you cruise into second base. Just no worries in the world. You know what? He put a really good swing on that one. And now it's the cleanup spot for the Phillies. Kyle Schwarber. And Boog, I'd say he's due. Next offering is down low. Two and one. Next offering is fouled back. Left-hand hitter waits. And now it's filled up. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you. So you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. So now three and two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And he deals. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Man, he's been really good about to hit that 100 pitch mark here in the seventh. Man, we'll see how far they're going to ride him, but it's been pretty good so far. And the righty deals. Swing and a ground ball to the middle. That's a base hit. Here comes Harper around third. He'll score easily, and it's 1-0. Now the tag at second, and he's out, trying for two. Nick Castellanos stands in for the Phillies. Just missed.
Out towards right center field. Thomas sizing it up. Racing makes the catch. Two down. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. 1-1 one, one now. Hoskins pushes it foul. On the line, base hit. And that's going to roll to the wall. Around first and hustling for second. And that's a two-bagger. Well, a swing like that run. can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers. Kyle Nelson will take over here. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. And that one is lifted in the air. Fletcher makes the play, and that's the third out. Well, one run game. Now here's the cleanup hitter for Arizona, Christian Walker. One for two. Next pitch is outside. Two and one the count now. He hasn't seen a fastball yet, but you've got to be ready to hit one because you doubt the pitcher wants this to go to a three run count. The tying run at the plate. Sliced hard but foul. It's a hitter. You don't know what to expect here in the three two. If he'll throw a breaking ball three one, he'll do it again three two. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game on. like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. Fires over to Hoskins. And that quickly, two away. Swing and a miss. It's a ball and two strikes. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Back here in the desert. Now here is Bryson Stock. And the pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. The pitch. The flip to the pitcher covering, and that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Brandon Marsh stands in for the Phillies. And he bunts, but that's a foul ball. And the next pitch is way outside. Swings through it for the K. Snuck the fastball by him. So the batting order turns over. Okay. Here's Trey Turner. The why to kick the pitch. Foul ball. And now it's one and two. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Carroll makes the play and it's out number three. Back here at Chase Field, and now the right fielder, Dominic Fletcher. Jose Alvarado on the pitch here. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pen with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing team did that to me. D-backs making a move for a pinch hitter. Evan Longoria, he represents the go-ahead run. Swing and a miss, struck him out. The high heat, too much on that one. Now up next for Arizona, Nick Ahmed. Next offering is outside. Come on, Billy, strike. Swings and misses. It's two and two. And now the count filled up three and two. Fletcher over at first with one away. Check me out. Throw to second. Out there. And that ends the inning. Trying to make something happen there. So out of the pen for the Diamondbacks, Miguel Castro. He comes on for the 35th time this year. The next pitch misses, and that's ball two.
gets him to chase after that one. Well, in those hitters count, sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. At the belt, he fires. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Snap throw. Rogi just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count off at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. The one two. Next offering misses down and away. One run game here at the top of the ninth. Next offering way off the plate. The three two is off the outside edge and that is ball four. Boog, if I were him, I'd be nibbling around the plate as well. I mean, this guy is just capable of hitting pitches outside of the zone and driving them a long way. In the dirt, gets away from Kelly. Right-handed reliever. That one missed. The other way. Fair ball. Harper coming home. The throw in. And he's out trying for two. But they do get a run. So here's the Phillies DH. Nick Castellanos. Swing and a bouncer. Marte gets it to first. Get and Castellanos is out. Last chance for the home team. Here's the third baseman, Josh Rojas. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Oh, you got to be pretty quick with the bat speed these days. So many guys throwing in the upper 90s, and you see the velocity on that one just tough to catch up to. I mean, guys are coming in, and they're going max effort. They're not looking to go a long distance. They want to get as many strikeouts as they possibly can. Here at the bottom of the ninth, one out. Lourdes Goriel Jr. stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Here's the new pitcher for the Phillies, Sir Anthony Dominguez. Well, he's a big-time strikeout guy out there. This season, averaging more than one per inning. Hey, look, we'll see how it factors in. I just can't emphasize how much that insurance run in the top of the ninth means. I mean, just such a big difference mentally when you're chasing two runs instead of one. That was a good, hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop-up and an easy out for the defense. Two-run game, a two-away here in the bottom of the ninth. Next pitch misses, and the count is filled up. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. That's tremendous run from him, and I know it's got the dugout fired up down there. Down to the last strike, and he comes up with a hit to keep the game alive. It ain't over pitch. yet. Oh Myers shot the move, and he's got it. Ball game. And the Phillies use three pitchers to combine for the shutout. Well, there's a lot more work to be done in this series, but it all starts one game at a time. Taking the first of four.